Hello, my name is Rachel Yasaba. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. Where They will walk and not be faint. Sometimes Bible verses can seem like just words if you have not experienced what they are talking about. I never knew what the definition of hope was until I was in one of the darkest moments of my life. The pandemic had hit, I lost my full-time job and didn't know how I would pay for my expenses. I was looking for work for several months with no avail and started applying for jobs that I was overqualified for. When those jobs wouldn't call me back, I started losing hope and thought that God had forsaken me. A part of me thought I was being punished for my past sins. In the midst of doubt and confusion, a voice told me that everything was going to be okay and not to make decisions out of desperation. I didn't know what that meant because I needed a roof over my head and food in my belly and there was no way I could provide for myself if I didn't have income. At this point, I had given up on applying for the jobs I wanted because no one was calling me back. I decided to take a break from applying for jobs in general, and I heard the Lord say to only apply for the jobs that would align with my career. I didn't know how I was going to pay for next month's rent or electricity, but I obeyed the Lord and stopped applying for any job. A couple of days later, a family friend posted a job that aligned with my career goals, but I didn't meet all the requirements. The Lord told me to still apply and that he would take care of the rest. I applied for the job, but didn't meet all the requirements, but because of my past experience, they offered me a position anyways. This is a testament of what hope can do. Without hope, I would not have had courage to apply for the job. Without hope, I would not have given up. I would have given up and continued to act out of desperation. But what I have learned is that when you completely surrender to the Lord, He will rescue you. He will provide and fulfill all of His promises. What God has planned for you is greater than what you can imagine. So keep your hope in the Lord and watch what He can do.